totally in Egypt right now. So, good morning from Langkawi. This is the third day of our trip to Langkawi. The sun is out finally and so are we. We are just booked a grab from our location to the oriental village. So just a quick tip, grab is the cheapest means of traveling here in Langkawi. And it is almost the same as Uber in India. Uh, it's a rental car service so you can just book a grab and go to your desired location or you can also uh, rent a bike for a day and travel but all the places doesn't have a uh, bike parking space most are paid some of them don't have it in the main gates but still uh, the bikes are quite convenient to be honest along with the grab so let's go so you can see our grab in front she is waiting for us to take to the sky cap oriental village so let's go hello We have reached the oriental village it took us almost 30 minutes and 22 ringgits from Fentai Chenang to the oriental village so they have two main gates actually gate A and gate B this is the gate B actually we are taking we'll be just crossing the bridge and going towards our location the sky cable so let's go Okay, so they have some small stores here also inside the village for people to buy cats, hats and sunglasses. Oriental village sky cap straight. Okay, so they have four gondolas, the VIP, private, crystal glass and explain layer. Let's see which one we take. The weather was good actually, I don't know, it's getting cloudy right now. Hopefully we won't get much rain. Wow. So this is the main gate area, as you can see. This is the sky cap line. So we're going to take our tickets from that side, the ticket counter. So right now we have taken the combo tickets for the sky cap, the sky dome and the 3D art museum. Uh, just because the sky bridge is closed right now because of the rain as you can see it has started raining again. We have opted for the 3D art museum first and after that we will visit the sky dome and then we will go up for the sky cap. It costed us 85 ringgits per head and later on we will have to pay some extra for the nature walk or the gliding which one we take so let's go and explore the 3d art museum first the 
3D art museum in Oriental village is the largest 3D art museum in Southeast Asia actually. You can see this is the main entrance. This is one of the largest in the world. So let's go and check it out. We have to keep our shoes here? Yeah. Okay. Please take out your shoes and put in a plastic. Okay, thank you. So while entering the 3D art museum, they will take the tickets first and also take a photo proof for your identification. After that, you are all set to go inside. So let's explore the place right now. So this place, they are showing the aquatic marine life in the sea. You can see all the 3D paintings here and you can see on the floor also we are just standing in the water wow. yeah, the paintings are all 3D you can see the flowers, the corals, everything okay look at this one it is looking as if the pearl is set there but it's a painting actually it's so beautiful so right now we will be going to the next section which is I guess the forest oh wow just look at it just look at this beautiful place with the beautiful paintings it's, it's so beautiful actually these are by the way all paintings okay the rocks you can see here these are all paintings these are all paintings these are all paintings and look as if the elephant has just broken the wall and coming out of You can just sit here and take a photo. I will do that actually and post it. Oh nice. Just look at the hippopotamus here. Wow. Nice. The great eagle of Lankawi. Okay, so this is the next section and I guess this is some kind of a, I feel okay this is art in paradise circus let's look at this painting it seems Jurassic Park is just coming out through the walls along with King Kong oh my god just look at this one I'll definitely take a photo here actually later on the podium is set for the circus to happen you can just step in and take a photo here one of the best things that I liked about this place is that they have as you can see these photo points actually these are the photo points so you just need to stand here and take photos to get the ultimate 3D effect. This is like a very cute and innovative thing by the way. So we are going to the next zone right now. We finished off with the first one. Okay, something exciting. Oh my god, just look at this. Oh my god. We are totally in Egypt right now. Seriously, wow, just look at these beautiful paintings. I don't know where to start off from, by the way. But there's a staircase to go up, also.
Wow. So after watching the beautiful 3D art museum, we are going to the Sky Dome because still now the Sky Bridge is closed because of bad weather. So let's see what happens because we want to eagerly see the Sky Bridge. Let's see. Sky Dome first. After that, we will opt for the Sky Bridge. So this is the main entrance for the sky dome. Okay, thank you. So it's a five to seven minutes uh, show actually, which we are going to watch in the sky dome. Uh, we are just entering. It's a beautiful place actually. Come on. Hello. Okay. So we are going to have this 3D show right now here. So we have finished off with the sky dome part. Uh, it was kind of a thing which you can also miss. I didn't like the show much to be honest, but as because it's under the package. So we had to go. It's a five minutes 3D show. I will uh, link the video description down there. You can watch it. It's on a different video. So right now we are going to the main part, which is the gondola. You can see we are going up. And hopefully I'm going to show you what real Lankaway looks like from the top. Let's go. So we are back to the main gates. So this is a ticket counter. I guess you have seen it in the earlier part of the video. And just beside it, this is the gate to get the sky look, uh, to get the gondola towards the sky cab actually. So we have the tickets. Thank you. The sky bridge is still closed. Let's see what we can get. Thank you. Uh, what is not allowed? Yeah. Okay, where do we have to keep the bottle? Yeah, you can take it. Oh, we can keep it here? Yeah. Okay. So we have to keep our water bottles the place there because they don't allow water bottles inside the bag. So let's go. So there you can see the Seven Worlds Waterfalls which is our next destination after the sky cap. It's so beautiful from here actually. Just look at this view. Fantastic. As you can see we are going through the clouds right now and it's totally foggy. Okay. 
it's beautiful we are just minutes away from the top i guess oh wow we are through the clouds just see the view in between the clouds so beautiful station actually but before that we are going to visit the observation deck of the middle center middle uh, station actually so let's go and let's watch what we can see from here actually it's so cold here by the way the temperature is like a fall on minimum 2 3 degrees from where we were by the way i mean it's 5 uh, minutes back so this is the observation deck as you can see It's quite beautiful here, but because of the fog, we can't see the nature and the mountains and the sea from this place. Hopefully, we'll get something from the top. Hopefully, let's hope for the best. So it's a bit foggy actually in the middle station, and right now we are in the queue to go to the upper section or the upper station, which they call of the sky cap. We couldn't see much from. this deck because of the clouds uh, hopefully we might get some good view from the top maybe we don't know about it but the gondola ride was a superb experience to be honest i just loved the fact that i took the gondola ride in langkawi so again another gondola ride will be there to take us to the upper station so let's go Just look at those gondolas get mixed in the cloud. the top section and we are going to use the staircase actually to go up hello we'll take the staircase now to go up staircase for going up staircase okay thank you this is another observation deck it's still cloudy but i feel the weather has got a bit better than it was a few minutes back so when you reach the top section you have two observation decks one in the left side and one is on the right side so we have finished of watching the observation deck on the left and now we are going towards the observation deck on the right the observation deck on the right is i guess a slightly more elevated than the observation deck on the left so as you can see these are the love locks it's all 
here actually on the way towards the observation deck on the left and towards the observation deck on the right so you can buy these locks actually and print your name on it and just lock it here so it's a beautiful concept here by the way nice it's look looks very pretty actually it goes all the way from one end to the other that is the observation deck on the left you can see it there this one is a slightly more elevated observation deck although the view is the same actually today it's foggy but maybe we can have some luck because the sun is coming out and it's getting a bit warmer actually than the normal temperature it was when we came up so we have waited here for more than 25 minutes and going down towards the bridge we are going to walk to the bridge we won't be using the glider okay so one more thing that i want to tell you or maybe inform you in early when you come to this place you will see some people taking photos of you that will be in uh, the 3d art museum also on the middle deck also on and also in the top deck also i guess there are some so they will click your photos on a green screen in the background and edit it and later on what they will do is they will try to hand it over to you for some money in return so if you don't need those photos don't take them but sometimes they do force you to take the photos uh, which i got in the middle deck actually the woman was trying to force me to take the photo but still i didn't take it because i felt like it was not worth it to be honest spending money on getting edited photos so do keep in mind once you come to this place you are going to get something like that and it's not mandatory to take those photos by the way so good luck on that so this is the ticket counter as you can see it says that the sky bridge with the natural trail will cost you 6 ringgit each and sky bridge with the sky glide will cost you 16 ringgit so we are going to opt for the 16 ringgit one and it will it is 324 steps 10 minutes so let's collect the ticket from here and let's go down i want Okay. Thank you. We'll go for this side, no? Okay. Okay. So as you can see, this is the line from which the glider. Okay, this is the glider actually, which is coming up. This will take you down to that deck actually, and we are taking the natural trail. By the way, we have to walk three twenty-four steps. So I'm going to show you the. way in which we will be going okay so the glider will be taking you through the that route and we will be walking down through this route actually on the same place and you can see the gondola is coming up to the top station so let's go let's go down we are just following the nature trails we are just going through a dense rain forest i guess it's beautiful it's beautiful It's worth the walk, to be honest. So don't feed the monkeys. It's written here already in the board. You can see. Okay, so we have reached. Huh, just a few more stairs to climb. Arriba. Okay. So this is where the glider will drop you. 
as you can see and this is the way towards the bridge so this is the sky bridge and you can see the view we are so lucky to get this view from here actually this is what we all were waiting for actually the view for an hour almost we had to wait totally and this is the lankavi sky bridge but we have almost got what we came for to be honest we have got the view of the sea from here and as the clouds shift we are enjoying every bit of it the weather is very beautiful today and cold too clouds in the sky beach so we have got the best of the view and the best of the clouds also so we have got the view for which we have came for the skywalk and we were very lucky to be honest because after a minute or two it again got very foggy uh, right now we are walking down through the natural trails and we will be visiting our next destination so keep watching so we have just finished off with the lankavi sky cable and we are on our way towards the seven wells waterfalls uh, as far as i know it's a 500 meter walk from the parking lot towards the left so we are just following the trail we will be reaching uh, the seven wells waterfalls within 10 minutes i guess so seven wells waterfalls here we come well i guess we have almost reached the spot here is the car parking area and i guess the waterfalls is just nearby only so let's go oh this side the waterfalls is on the left you have to take left and go straight so this is the way to go up okay the monkeys are sitting on the railings maybe to welcome us all let's see we have to use this here case to go up to Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. There are so many monkeys here. They can snatch your phone, camera. So be safe and walk safely. Don't harm them. They don't normally harm anyone, but still Be careful. It's a long trail up towards the top. It's quite steep actually. It will take you a lot of energy to go up. So this is the Seven Sisters Waterfalls. Wow, it's very beautiful actually. And look at the flow of the water actually. It's flowing at a rapid pace. We can. only see this kind of speed during the rainy season here stunning stunning view wow. so after a hectic day it's time for some refreshment here The water is really very cool, and the temperature is totally soothing. So we are enjoying every bit of the Seven Wells waterfall. Well, this is a 
place I definitely want to stay maybe a whole day altogether. It's so beautiful out here. But right now it's 4:30 in the clock and we have to go to Pentai Chunang, have our lunch and take some rest. So as you can see we have came back to Pentai Chunang and right now I am at the Ali Bristo having some food actually this is rice with chicken curry and fried chicken. So we had our lunch in Ali Bristo and we ate Nasi Kandar, Nasi Puti, Ayam Korma, Ayam Goden, Timun Nanas. So the total bill is 22.80 ringgit. That tens amounts to almost uh, 390 rupees, I guess, on Indian rupees. So it was good. So this is the menu. Uh, that actually means in India is chicken, rice, brinjal, which was the veg, and along with that, it, there were some fried chickens. So Ali Bristo is one of the hotspots for Indians to come and have some food because. Uh, the quantity is very good the quality is also very good actually and it's cheap the price is very reasonable for anyone to have lunch or dinner here so right now we are going towards our hotel gonna get fresh up and then come back to the beach in the evening so keep watching happy to have not faced this weather early morning today So it didn't go according to what we planned today for the evening at Pentai Chenang. We uh, reached our hotel from Ali Bristo after having some food around 7 maybe. I don't remember the exact time. And we had plans to go to the Chenang beach in the evening. But there was a torrential downpour that went on for more than 2 hours. So we couldn't go out, we could just only see how it was raining through the windows. So right now, it's almost 10 in the clock and the rain has stopped. So we have came out from our room and trying to find some place to have a good dinner and again go back to the hotel. We want to take this ayam along with udang. Oh no, I'm sorry, ayam, um, it's ayam. Really fish. Oh, I am is finished. Yeah. Okay, and what about uh, the dagin and udang? Uh, uh, the dagin with the brown. Yes. Or something. Uh, Eleven ringgit. Uh, twelve. Uh, twelve. Twelve ringgit. Yeah. For mixing up those two together, yeah, no? no? This is ten. Take for one. mixing. For mixing. Yeah. Give me one dagin. Okay. Give me one udang. Yes. One dagin. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, what drink do you? No, no drinks. No. One dagin and one udang. Yeah. yeah. Tasty, by the way. It is just like fried rice in India. The spices are a bit different, but the concept is the same and is very delicious. So finally, we found some food for dinner at the night food market in Chenang, Pentai Chenang area. Now it's 11.30 at the clock and time for some rest. So day 3 was altogether a very different experience to be honest. Can be said the luckiest day actually for me in Langkawi. I am really very happy that I could see the view from the sky bridge 
I just love the waterfall and the food was also delicious at the dinner so it was a great day to be honest and hope to see you all on the next video tomorrow day 4 at Langkawi so keep watching I hope you are loving the series do like share and subscribe with all your friends good night see you all